I'd like to talk about the sine rule, which is written a divided by sine a equals b divided by sine b equals c divided by sine c. You'll notice that lowercase is on top, uppercase is on the bottom. That's because when we draw a triangle, we use the uppercase for the angles and the lowercase for the sides. The side is opposite the angle. Side B is opposite angle B. Side C is opposite angle C. The sine rule is useful for working out the proportions of uh, either the angles in a triangle or the sides in a triangle. So you have six bits of information. If you have three of those bits then you can work out the other three. In this case, we're going to call angle A 90 degrees, because it's a right angle triangle. Angle B will be 30, and angle C will be 60 degrees. A practical application of the sine rule is, say, making a shelf bracket from a length of steel of set length and give an angle. So we're going to call angle A, B, C. 90, 30, and 60 degrees. Now we know the sine of 90 degrees equals 1, and the sine of 30 degrees equals 0.5, and the sine of 60 degrees equals 0.866. So we draw that piece of steel, and we give it a length say 2.3 meters. We need to find out how long we need to cut each of those pieces to fit it into a triangle like that. So let's call this part A, this part B, and this part C. So we can say that A plus B plus C equals 2.3 meters. And if we put these values into the into the equation, we can say that part is 1, this part is 0.5, and that part is 0.866. So if we add those proportions together, we come up with 2.37. So the proportions of A, B, and C are A is divided by 1, equals B divided by 0.5 equals C divided by 0.866. Let's draw that piece of steel again. We have A, B and C. Add them together. 2.3 meters in this case and the sine of the angles was 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.866 which is our ratios. The proportion of A to the total length is written A colon 2.3 meters so that's the ratio of A to 2.3 meters which is equal to 1 to the total of the ratios. Another way of writing that is A divided by 2.3 metres equals 1 divided by 2.37. We transpose 2.3 metres, take it across to the other side of the equation, because it's divide on this side, it becomes multiply on that side. So therefore we can write A, do this to get uh, A by itself, uh, 1, 1 by 2.3 metres divided by 2.37, and that calculates to the length of A is 0.97 metres. Let's do the same for B. The proportion of B to the total length is equal to its ratio 
to the total of the ratios. And that's the same as writing B divided by 2.3 metres equals 0.5 divided by 2.37. We're going to transpose 2.3 over to the other side of the equation to separate B by, by itself so we can calculate it. So that becomes 0.5 times 2.3 metres. It's divide on that side, becomes times on that side. 0.5 times 2.3 metres divided by 2.37. And that calculates to B. The length of B is 0.49 metres. We we'll do the same for C. Proportion of C to the total is the same as saying 0.866 as a ratio of the total, the sum. And we can write that as C divided by 2.3 metres equals 0.866 divided by 2.37. Transpose 2.3 metres to find the value for C, which is 0.866 times 2.3 metres divided by 2.37 which calculates to C having a length of 0.84 metres. If we add those three lengths together we find that it comes to 2.3 metres. So that's a good way of checking our values. So we'll come back to the original sheet and now write in our values there. We have A equals 0.97 metres, B equals 0.49 metres, and C equals 0.84 metres, totaling 2.3 metres. So that's a good application of the sign rule.